Hey guys, welcome to the Tech Granth. Today we will invert a binary tree. Do like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel to get further update. So it's a pretty easy problem when you talk about trees, and uh, it is uh, very commonly asked in a lot of tech companies. And the variation of this problem is like you need to invert the tree, or you are given two trees, and you need to find whether they are mirror or not. And there is one more. Uh, uh, variance of this uh, that uh, that problem is also present in lead code i will solve it uh, further down the line where you have to find whether a given tree is a symmetric or not so symmetric tree is like uh, all the childs are like mirror of each other but uh, anyhow here we need to just invert this binary tree so when you start from four all the right element that is present you need to move it to the left hand side and the left element has to be moved to the right hand side so what you can do here is uh, uh, but uh, yeah this problem this is that uh, google 90 percent of our engineer use software you wrote but uh, you can't invert a tree on a whiteboard so <laughs> basically if uh, this is what they asked in some interview of google or something like that but anyway it is a pretty common question that is asked in any uh, competitive programming interview or any tech company interview so when you have to invert the uh, when you have to invert a binary tree what you need to do is you need to move the left element to the right hand side and like i told in my previous video where i solved problem on trees uh, like more than 90 percent of the problem that you have on tree can be solved just by recursion and when you move from uh, uh, when you move down when you do dfs the inner tree so you can simply apply some logic to basically solve any problem and use recursion on top of that so here what we will do is uh, we'll start with four now when i go down when i go down the tree so in that particular case i have to invert the tree so i need to move my left element to the right and right element to the left so if i create a node from for the root so my node dot left should be the right element of the tree that has been given to me. So suppose this one is called a node. If I call if I call this element as a node or let us say a temp node, then here my temp dot left. So this so when I come here. So here my temp node dot left should be equal to this should be equal to my root dot right okay and my temp node dot right this should be equal to the root that has been given to me dot left and then I again recur so when I substituted these two so i made this as seven and uh, i made this as two okay from this particular tree from four two and seven i swapped these two nodes now the corresponding subtree of seven and two also needs to be swapped so i will apply the same logic only thing is when i call this uh, left uh, temp dot left i will rather than just assigning the left dot root i will assign a recursion call i will call this again with the left and the right node so let us solve this problem so we will put a base condition saying that if root equal equal to null so then you return null okay in that case we will uh, return just the null value and uh, for the tree node we can create a temp node like i said here so i will create a temp node and uh, the temp node will be of value root dot val so we have some constructor given here we have a constructor where we can give a value so <clears throat> that is how you will assign this and uh, for the left so we need to give this dot left and we need to give this dot right so these two things we need to assign so when i go left with my temp node so four from four i need to go left i need to assign the right value of the root that has come in so for that we'll say 
you just invert the tree and you go root dot right so you go right and whatever value you get you assign it to my left node and similarly for the right side i will say you assign the left node okay so for my temp node that i am creating for my temp node the left side of my temp node will be the right side of the actual root that i have got and the right side of this temp node will be the left of the actual node or the left of the actual tree that i have got so that is how i will assign the left and right to me and in the end i will just return my temp node so let me walk through this problem once so if i have to walk through i got the root of this tree which is 4 so i created a temp node like this 4 now temp dot left is equals to invert the tree and you go right so from this tree i went right and i came here with 7 okay so 7 is not equal to null i will go ahead i will create another node with 7 and then again i will go right so i will come here to 9 okay so once i reached here 9 i created a new node and then again i went right now this time when i went right of 9 so that is null so i will return then i will go to the left of 9 which is null then i will return the node 9 so my temp dot left when i started with 7 will be 9 so the left of 7 will be 9 and then i go to right so i will go to the right which will be the left of the actual tree so i will go towards 6 so that way i will assign so when i started with uh, 7 so i will end up some with something like this i will have uh, 9 here and i will have 6 here okay so that is how and then this whole subtree will be left of 4 and the right of and whatever is the left side of 4 is this subtree will be moved to right of the 4 so that is how this recursion will work so let us submit this problem let us run this code on this existing test and then we can just submit the problem it's a pretty easy problem and uh, oh sorry this was stupid it do tend to make these kind of mistake so that's it uh, it is the correct solution we'll submit it <coughs> and it's 500 uh, percent faster than everyone who has submitted so that is it for this video i'll come back with uh, some more video on tree so do look out for that so thanks for watching bye